everyone welcome back to the channel in this video I'm going to be looking at an example of how to find the Laplace transform of the heaviside step function so here we have an example you'll see that we have a discontinuous function which is defined as t where t is between 0 and 2 and as 2 where t is greater than 2 so the first thing we need to do is to convert this into a heaviside step, step function so f of t is going to be equal to the first part being t and that's going to be u at t minus 0 minus u at t minus 2 plus 2 times u at t minus 2 because you don't have any upper limit so if I multiply out, I'm going to get u of t minus t u of t minus 2 plus 2 u of t minus 2. Okay, your first term is just going to be t and your second term will be u of t minus 2 u of t minus 2. So this is the function that we want to find the transform of. Now from the previous videos, let's just recall what our formulae are. So the first one we, we derived was the transform of u of t minus a and that was equal to 1 over s times e to the minus AS. The second one is your second shifting theorem and that was if you have a function f of t minus a times the step function that would be equal to e to the minus AS times the transform of f of t. Okay so those are the two formulae we're working with. If you look at the example we have here, you'll see the first term is going to be fairly straightforward because that you can just read off the table. Your second term is not as straightforward, right? Your third term would be straightforward because that would just be this first formula here, okay? The middle one is not that straightforward because if you were to use the second shifting theorem, the form of your term has to look exactly the same as this one here. So you have to have some function of t minus a times u of t minus a. That means that whatever is inside of that step function, you have to have part of the term in front of u t of t minus a, which means you need a t minus 2 somehow in front. Now if you look at your function, you can actually rearrange your term so that you do have that. So let's do that. So if my goal is to have t minus 2 in front of the u, so you see you've got a t here and you've got a 2 there, you can factorize. So if I was to write t and I take out a negative and I say t minus 2 times u of t minus 2, right? Because you'll see here that u of t minus 2 is in fact common. So I've just factorized it out. I've also factorized out the negative because that way I will have t minus 2 and t minus 2. So if you compare the form of this function of that term, it is the same form as my second shifting theorem. So now if I was to take the Laplace transform and I say the transform of f of t, your transform of t is just going to be 1 over s squared. Right? And then this is going to be e to the minus 2s times the transform of e of t. Right? And this g of t is essentially the function in front of u of t minus a without the shift, 
which means it's the function without the minus 2. So that means you'll have 1 over s squared times the transform of t, because that's what the function is without the shift. So then your transform is going to be, your complete transform is going to be e to the minus 2s over s squared. And that can be rewritten as, depending if you want to, it depends on the purpose of your question, 1 minus e to the minus 2s. And that is your Laplace transform. I hope that video was useful. Please stay and have a look at the next video. I'm going to be doing another example that is a bit more involved than this one. I'll see you there. Bye.